What is going on YouTube? It's Huncho here, back with another FPS boosting input delay reduction video. Today's video is going to be three simple steps uh, that I've created for you guys to just run the reg edit files and your FPS will be higher and your input delay will be lower. If you already have a very optimized system and your system specs are really good with like a RTX 2080 GPU, and the new 10 series Intel CPU, you're not really gonna get an FPS boost from this, but you will notice that your game will be more responsive and your input delay on your mouse, keyboard, or controller, or whatever you play with will be lower. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Um, as you've heard in previous videos, if you've been following along, I'm gonna be releasing my Nvidia Inspector profile for lower latency and smoother gameplay at 2000 subscribers and then most likely that new driver will be out with the nvidia reflex and all those new systems so i'm going to optimize that one as well for that video one last thing i want to say before we get into this video is that if you have if this is the first video that you've watched of me go back and at least watch the last two videos on advanced input delay reduction and boosting your fps almost all the edits in my videos are add-ons of the previous tweaks that i've done and i don't really like overlap them so that way if someone did have an issue with it and they didn't want to do that it won't pop up in a later video so you're not going to be getting the ones from two videos ago in the new videos so when you download the folder it's going to look like this the first step i want you guys to do though is to create a system restore file in your control panel so you're going to go to system system protection and then create a restore point under system protection here name it whatever you want and then hit create. So even though I have revert files, um, especially for the BCD edits, it won't revert to what your system was before. It will revert to the Windows default. So I wanna make sure that if you guys do, do wanna change back the BCD edits, that you're getting what you had before, not just the Windows defaults. Okay, so our first step is gonna be to run CMD as admin so you can either hold down control shift and click enter and select run as administrator All we're gonna do here is open up this copy all of these Click enter Oops, sorry paste it and then click enter for this last one So our first step is done Our next step is going to be the right re the registry edit files so I've created a high end system one and a low to medium end system one. You can still try the high end system one. You just might end up getting more input lag doing it just because of how the priorities are for the GPU. Um, but you can go ahead and try it. It's not gonna hurt anything. And then there's also a rewrite file that will change it back to what was most likely everyone's default settings. So we're just gonna click on it, click yes. In this registry edit, there is also something that affects audio it makes it only run on two of your cpu cores instead of four so if you want it to go back to normal of running in four but you don't want to revert the whole file just run the audio revert in here next we're going to run the system responsiveness registry edit same thing double click on it click run there's also a revert file for this that was most likely everyone's default but I've added a few new edits to it, so I just wanted to make sure that everyone had the revert for it. This last one turns on hardware acceleration for the GPU. You can try it on and off and see if your input latency is lower. And lastly, the third and final step is this program called JetBoost. So you're going to download the EXE here. And how you want to run it the first time is to open up Fortnite. I'm going to do that really quick. Okay, so after we have Fortnite open here, we're going to open up the JetBoost program and we're going to go to customize. So now this should be everything that you have open on your computer when you're playing the game. <clears throat> so right now if you have, if you run with OBS open, if you run with Discord open, anything you normally open, open up right now so you can see what's running in your processes. Okay, so now that you've opened everything, I'm going to show you guys what to turn off and what not to turn off. So this most likely will be unchecked. You can check it. I'm leaving OBS open. I'm leaving my GPU overclocking open. You can close the Epic Games Launcher. You can close the Search app. 
anything like Microsoft Edge you can turn off, Shell Experience you can turn off, Start Menu Experience Host, do not turn off anything that has F SVC Host. You can try turning off the application frame host, but you might run into problems. Again, anything with Microsoft Edge we're turning off, Shell Infrastructure Host, the Runtime Brokers, Microsoft Edge, do not turn off anything, SVC Host, don't turn off anything with the description of COM surrogate. We can turn off the BattleEye Launcher, we can turn off Setting Sync Host. Browser Broker, the Runtime Broker, Fortnite Launcher, and Game Bar. If something isn't covered in here and you have a question whether you can turn it on or off, you can either one, try it yourself and see if your game works or your OBS works, or two, just ask me in the comments down below and I will let you guys know. Next, we're gonna go to Services. Should be able to turn off everything in here except the human interface device service because this is for your keyboard and stuff. The non-window services is going to be the other things you have open. If you use the prio service to lock in affinities for certain programs, you're going to want to make sure this is not checked because Fortnite will crash if you if the prio service is turned off. Same thing with the set timer resolution, you don't want to turn this off. And you obviously don't want to turn off the battle eye service because Fortnite will crash. Now into the other we can check clean RAM, clear clipboard, and disable updates. Don't check the explorer.exe and don't check the power solution. I'm just going to run this right now so you can see what it does. And now it's running. So now for the power program, we're going to use the one that I've created for you guys. So what we're going to do is take this file here and put it into our C disk or whatever your computer opens with. So if you have a hard drive, it's probably gonna be your D. Put this in here. Then we're gonna open up the power plan text. And if you it's in your D drive, you have to change this C to a D or an E or whatever the heck you have to put it in. And then you're gonna copy this whole thing, go into CMD again and paste it going to tell me that I can't import it because I already have it. And then you're going to go into your settings, system, power and sleep, additional power settings, and it'll probably be under show additional plans and then called Huncho. One last thing I do want to say about this Jet Boost program is that if you restore while Fortnite is open, it will crash the game. Um, so do not restore while the game is open. Thanks for watching the video guys. I really appreciate your support. I really hope this video helps out you guys' FPS and input delay. Please subscribe if you have not already. It really helps me out. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.